A Milestone Anniversary The half-year countdown to Her Majesty Queen Alicia's 60th birthday celebration has begun. This has been a banner year for Her Royal Highness, sparking more anticipation than this event has ever seen before. But we must not forget, too, that this year is the tenth since the Hundred Days' War, a period of intense turmoil for all of Liberal. As we celebrate, let us also reflect on the tragedies of the past, so that we may refrain from ever reliving them in the future. We have been afforded this luxury of hindsight, and we must use it to its fullest. Preparations underway in the Royal City Main Street is filled with the bustle of men and women furiously preparing decor and merchandise for the upcoming festivities, and developing new products specifically for sale during the celebration. The competition is truly cutthroat. I yearn for my customers' taste buds to sing with delight, says Ms. Sorbet, local ice cream purveyor who deals her wares in the city's east block. Sadly, her new menu will remain a mystery to us until the day of the festival. As the population grows, more and more businesses pop up all around me. But all that means is more customers, especially at festival time. So I'm certainly not complaining, she exclaims with a sly smile. Ms. Sorbet seems to have a few tricks up her sleeve. So to all our competitors, we say, watch out. Who shall stand and who shall fall? Prior to the festival, Her Majesty will be hosting our annual martial arts competition in the Royal Arena. This fiercely competitive tournament is always a big hit, with some avid spectators even regarding it as the day's main event. Which team will come out on top? Society. Burglaries across the Bowes region. According to our sources, the Bowes region has seen a string of burglaries over the last several days, and the people have had enough. The Royal Army Border Patrol station at the Hawking Gate has been stepping up efforts to apprehend the group of criminals responsible for these acts, and anyone with information on their identities is urged to contact the Border Patrol immediately. Travel. Finding the perfect getaway. The Kingfisher Inn, along the beautiful Valeria Lakeshore, is more popular than ever following a visit from the woman of the royal city. Won't you come and visit with us, too? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Last time, Luke and Pat went off to a dangerous monster place. Uh, so now we gotta go there and help them. Kids, I swear. Anyway, this right here is the Malga Trail. The first, um, area of the game. Ambush this monster from behind. That HP heal does nothing since Joshua is already at full. Kill that thing. And boom. More experience is always nice. And Sepeth too. Continue through here. We got this monster here. Ambush it from behind. Nice. Nice. We did that. Um, are there any treasure boxes around here? Oh, right there. Found reviving bomb. Not a thing remains in the chest except a lonely dead spider. That's sad. Anyway, this... This battle right here.
I should just cut. All right, and that's done. Now we can go, wait, where were we going? Th it was this way, right? Yeah, it's gotta be this way. South Roland, North Malga Mine. Um, do not go this way. It is full of, it, it has powerful monsters we have not, we are not yet strong enough to face. Ambush this monster. And there we go. And we leveled up. Estelle learned Taunt. A new craft. Let's go. Oh. Okay, first battle I do not preemptive strike on. And we're done with that, that was easy. Now we go this way. If you can't turn the camera like this, that means you've entered somewhere important. Usually a tower like this. Looks like we've come all the way to the Ismelis Tower. I didn't see any sign of them along the trail, so do you think they've wandered inside? It's quite likely that's the case. Let's go in. Looks like we'll need to hurry. Right. Hold on. I need to check for goodies. I'm disappointed by the lack of goodies. Anyway, let's go inside. It's dark in here. I'm scared. Quit being a baby. We're only on the first floor of this place. Did you hear that? They really did come in here. <gasps> Estelle, are you all right? Luke, Pat, if you can hear me, answer me now. Those little brats. Are they pretending they can't hear me? They might have climbed up to the second floor. Let's hurry and see if we can find them. All right. All right, da, 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 da. nothing down here. What are we going to do? Somebody help. All right, uh, why would I ever, why would I ever rush in without Joshua? Let's go, Joshua. Right, I got your back. You monsters go somewhere else. No, she'll, she'll leave us alone. Chew on this. Still, what are you doing here? Joshua, you're here too. Get back, you two. These monsters aren't playing around. We'll take care of them. All right, protect all NPCs. If an NPC's HP reaches zero, the game is over. You know, despite the fact that there are literal revival items. Yeah, I don't like these. Yeah, I do not like this mechanic. This mechanic is, this this mechanic sucks, is bad, uh, and I do not like it. I could forgive it if it was in a cutscene. But this shit happens during gameplay, why? Oh. We're already getting the strength times 50 bonus. Okay. Anyway, let's use it to uh, take out this kitty right here. Goodbye. Womp womp. Okay. Kill this one. And boom. 
Yay! And we got more experience in Sepeth. Looks like that's that! Yeah, I'm glad everyone's safe too. By the way, that was great timing the way you blitzed those monsters, Estelle. You really think so? Is it safe now? Oh man, that was awesome! You really showed them, Estelle! Not bad for a girl! You little twerp! No, oh, that hurts! What are you trying to do to me? What's wrong with you? You even dragged poor Pat all the way up here against his will. It's time to think about what you did today. Ow! You're hurting me! Stop it! I said stop it, you violent she-devil! So this is the thanks I get for saving your neck, huh? Looks like it's time for, to give you some of my special discipline. Ow, 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 ow! Alright, Estelle, I'm sorry. Everything was all my fault. Um, Estelle? Shouldn't we forgive each other like they teach at school? This brat doesn't need forgiveness. But a little discipline should do the trick. Estelle, behind you! It's something with teeth, isn't it? Uh, nice monster. These mon these specific monsters are pretty powerful, by the way. They show up uh later in the game when we're supposed to be at like level twelve. I'm not going to make it in time. Huh? Dad, you came. You still lack skill and understanding, Estelle. You must always prepare for unseen danger by sharpening your senses. That's part of what it means to be a bracer. D Dad? What are you doing here? I just happen to be in town and hold the hor- hold her English! I just happened to be in town and heard the whole story from Ina. I'll give you points for your quick thinking and taking action to come after the children. But, you failed to follow through completely. I really messed up, didn't I? It's a good thing you showed up when you did. I'm sorry. I should have been watching her back. That just means you have room for improvement. Constantly working to overcome your weak spots is the key. Understood. So how about we head home, everyone? Can you boys walk? I think so. That was incredible, Mr. Bright. You're like a gazillion times more awesome than Estelle. <laughs> of course I was. I'm her father. All right, everyone. Let's file on out of here. I'm with you, Mr. Bright. Who is the glory hog now? I mean... I guess I should be thankful that Dad saved my behind, but why does he have to go and take all the credit like that? It really chaps my hide! <laughs> That's just the way he is. After all, he is Cassius Bright. It seems you've had quite a day. Dad is just unbelievable. The second we get back to Roland, he says, I'll leave the reporting to you and takes off for home. The sheer nerve, I tell you. There's no need to make a mountain over a molehill over it. At least the boys came back safe and sound. Anyway, I think that's all there is to report. Alright? See that plus one? That's, uh, that's bonus. Remember that choice we made? Remember that choice we made uh, back when we were about to save Luke and Pat? Um, when we were going to... When we were given a choice to rush in alone or go in with Joshua? That choice affected the BP we earned. So, essentially, you, you have to take a 
take into account not just what quests you complete, but how how well you completed them. We are still ninth class. You did well for your first assignment. From the details of your report alone, I, I believe I can commend you both for a job well done. You should be proud of yourselves. Y you really think so? I know so. In fact, you'll do even better on your next job. If anything else comes up, I would appreciate your help again. Sure. How about we head home too? I guess we better. I've still got dinner to prepare. Would you mind holding on a second? A letter arrived for your father just a little while ago. Unfortunately, since he went straight home, I never got a chance to give it to him. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry, yawn. Do you think you could deliver it instead? Received letter to Cassius. Wonder if it's more work-related stuff. I imagine so. The letter appears to be one from one of our foreign branches. One of the guild's foreign branches? As I'm sure you already know by now, Liberal isn't the only country where the Bracer Guild exists. On top of that, your father is widely known all across the Zemurian continent, so we can expect these kinds of letters from time to time. If you two would be so kind as to make sure he, that he gets this letter, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, we are not going to head home just yet. Aha! I have NPCs to talk to. We shall start with this new NPC here. For a backwoods town, these stores do carry a pretty nice selection of goods. The liberal kingdom definitely has a different feel with all these ornaments everywhere. I better get in the mood to do business starting tomorrow or I'm going to face some serious financial repercussions. I've heard that you two have had some major success recently, Estelle and Joshua. I knew I was right to keep my eye on you two. <laughs> keep up the good work. I'm a fan of the both of you. Hey there, Roland's two newest bracers. I look forward to your success. I'm about ready to close up shop, so if you have any purchases to make, I ask that you be quick about it. The sun's already setting. I guess it's about time I got dinner ready. I sure wish a woman who could cook would appear in my son's life. Phew, it's already that time again. I put in a good day's work today. I guess it's about time I closed up shop. Estelle, Joshua, I'm looking forward to hearing about other great things from you. Well, I'd better get dinner ready. Estelle, Joshua, would you like to join us for dinner? I'll whip you up something delicious. Uh, today is not a good day. Are you trying to say that my cooking isn't good anymore? Huh? You used to tell me how delicious my cooking was when you were a little girl, but now... <laughs> it's not like that at all. I'm really sorry if we've upset you in any way, but our dad's waiting at home for us. Yeah, and I'm wasting time by talking to everyone. I see. I'm sure your father wants you home for dinner. Poor Cassius would be all alone in that house by himself. Oh, it's this late already. I guess it's time to close up shop. You kids quit loitering around here and get yourselves home, you hear me? No! If you're aiming to become a first-class bracer, mastering orbital arts will probably be essential. We get a number of bracers stopping by the shop. They always modify their ornaments after checking them first. I'm sure today was tough for your first day as bracers, but you had a fine showing. I'll see you two tomorrow. I think this letter addressed to your father is important, so don't forget to give it to him. That reminds me. I heard a new load was discovered in the Malga mine. This may be something to look forward to. <laughs> Simon! It was certainly worth coming here to do business this time. It seems as though I'll be able to stock up on Septium as planned. It might even be worth staying in Roland a little longer. Welcome, you two. Stop by and have a bite to eat every once in a while, okay? If I ask my mom and dad, I can probably get you a free meal. Uh, 
I'll get back to work after this next drink, or maybe the drink after that. Oh, hey there, Estelle and Joshua. Ridge. It looks like you had a pretty rough first day. Was everything all right without Cassius being around? The chef here makes good use of his ingredients to really bring out that hometown flavor. Roland has a lot of farms, right? Personally, I recommend our vegetarian menu. Phew, we're busy. This is the time the place gets the most crowded. After I finish with all these orders, I'll need to get ready for tomorrow. Let's see. That should be about it with the accounting for today. I better get ready to close up shop for the day. Estelle, I heard the news. Seems like you've finally become a bracer, haven't you? I'm praying for your success. Oh, thanks! The mayor's residence is east of town, and the Bracer Guild is south of the clock tower. I think I've got the basic layout of this town now. Oh my. You appear to be troubled by something, Estelle. Huh? Really? We as humans grow through these afflictions. These are a trial given to us by the goddess. Adios, who art on high, please guide this beloved youth. No matter which path you decide to travel, never forget that each day is a blessing from the goddess. Oh. Another day has passed. There is nothing better than peace. War should never happen again. Oh, Adios, I give thanks for the peace and tranquility thou hast bestowed upon us this day. Yes! Listen to this, guys. I got her to go out with me. Oh, Adios. It was all worth the single day of trouble I went through today. A single day? Uh, I guess that could be called a victory of perseverance. It was when the stars had just emerged from the veil of, the n veil of night that he asked me here. Sweetly, he whispered in my ear. I want you to be mine. How romantic. It's just the situation I've always wanted to be in. Well, I guess it's not a bad place and all, but... The two of them came up here just for that. <laughs> I guess this type of thing can only be understood by those involved. Of all the things Pat could have done, he ran off outside of town. Even after I told him so many times how dangerous it is because of roaming monsters. I'm going to have my husband give him a talking to later. Thanks for saving us today, Estelle. I wonder what would have happened to us if you and Joshua hadn't come. Luke might grumble and say some mean things, but I'm sure he's really grateful to you, Estelle. Please don't get too angry with him. Phew, I finally found the book I was looking for. I wonder why it was shelved with Pat's books. Hmm. I just want to say I'm grateful that you saved us. And I hate to admit it, but you were pretty cool, Estelle. Not as cool as your dad, of course. Luke is as naughty as all get out these days. Just when I thought he was late getting home, it turns out he ran off to the Ismelis Tower. It's a good thing those bracers went after him like they did, or who knows what might have happened. Estelle and Joshua! Thanks for rescuing Luke and Pat. Miss Holden was talking lots about you guys and saying that you did a great job. <laughs> Thanks, Uni. Of all things, I heard that Pat and Luke took off to the tower north of here. I also heard that you rescued them as they were being attacked by monsters. You did well. That's just what I'd expect from Cassius's kids. Yeah, uh, well... What's wrong? To be honest, Dad was the one who saved us all in the end. <laughs> you kids are still young. You'll continue to grow and mature. Uni came back too. And so all I can say is... I'm just glad that everyone's safe. Here we go again. My father is overly strict with my husband. My husband works so hard. 
I wish my father would give us some time to adjust to the work without complaining. Hmph. <laughs> my son in law shouldn't be getting all cocky just because he's gotten a little better at the work. He's still not fit to be my successor or my daughter's husband. He needs to be able to bear the weight of Roland's timber industry on his shoulders. Man, I'm beat. I just managed to get enough wood out for the order I received. But my father-in-law won't even acknowledge my efforts. I guess I'm just going to have to work harder. I just received word from my husband that they discovered a new load in the mine. Unfortunately, it'll only be my daughter and I at home for dinner tonight. Daddy said he can't come home from work today. How utterly disappointing. There wasn't a single chick who was my type. There was a chick on the flight from Bose yesterday. She had a strange accent, but she was quite the looker. I wonder if she's still in Roland. All flights for today have finished, but I still need to run a safety inspection for tomorrow. Be prepared! That's one of our mottos. Each of the five major cities in Liberal is characteristically different from the rest. For starters, this is the scenic regional city of Roland. To the west lies Bose, the city of commerce, which does a lot of brisk business with the Empire. And farther west still lies the seaport city of Rouen, which is Liberal's doorway to the great waters beyond. To the south lies the industrial city of Zeiss, famous for ormond research. And finally, resting on the east shore of Valeria Lake is the beautiful royal city of Grandcell. Since each city is pretty distinct, it might be interesting for you to visit the mall using an airliner sometime. Hmm, I wonder what I should do about the menu this evening. Maybe I should discuss it with the missus. Let's see. Maybe I should start making preparations for dinner with Lita. Today I'm thinking about making my husband's favorite corn cream stew. But maybe I better check with Lita first. When I think about the days after the Hundred Days War ended, there is something amazing about the reconstruction of the Liberal Kingdom. Normalization of diplomatic, diplomatic ties with the Empire, development of horrible technology, fostering trade. Queen Alicia's political finesse is really something else. Whoop, forgot this, kid. There sure is a lot of junk around here. I wonder if there's anything interesting. And that is all the NPCs at for this story beat. Anyway, let's uh, exit and go home. Hey, Joshua. Hmm? Do you think I'm really cut out to be a bracer? Well, you seem to have inherited your father's skill with the staff. And your nosy personality doesn't let you ignore someone in distress. Really? You think so? Sure, but why are you asking? Are you still thinking about what happened back at the tower? Yeah. Because of my carelessness, Luke almost got caught in the middle of a dangerous situation. If Dad hadn't come when he did, he could have been seriously injured. I guess I'm just worried about whether or not I'll be able to stay on top of things in the future. That kind of talk doesn't sound like the Estelle I know. Huh? If we fail today, then all that's left to do is take back our losses tomorrow, right? Overthinking and worrying about things that haven't happened yet is definitely not like you. Isn't being a bracer what you've always dreamed of? How can you expect to succeed if you let something like what happened today discourage you? Joshua... You're right. This isn't like me at all. I don't think a serious expression really suits your face either. You laughing like a big ditz is far more natural for you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're gonna see my angry expression if you keep that up. <laughs> okay, I admit that last comment was pushing things a bit. I'll overlook it this time. And... Thanks for cheering me up. I don't know about you, but I'm so ready to get home and eat. My stomach just started growling like a bear. Maybe glutton is closer to the mark than ditz. Anyway, 
Yeah, let's head back home. Wee! But not before checking the Groom Gate, Groom Gate uh, thing again. It's getting late. I'm sure Dad's waiting for us, so let's get head home. Roger that. Sorry, um, issues, technical difficulty. You know what? <sighs> All right. Now let's go to the Bright family home. Yay, we're home! Yay! Now let's head here. We're home, Dad! I'm, I wonder what would have happened had we entered through that door. We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. The details of your reports will be reviewed at each branch and will affect your pay and rank advancement in the future. Please make sure that you always remember to do it. Don't worry, we will. Before I forget, I got that copy of the liberal news you wanted. There was this letter for you at the guild, too. Handed over the liberal news and letter. A letter, huh? Well, I'm gonna get cleaned up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad? Um, thanks for coming when you did today. You really helped me out back there. I see you're being rather gracious today. Papa is happy. How delightful that my daughter has finally understood what a great man her father truly is. There's no need to hold back, Estelle. Come and jump into your father's loving arms. In your dreams! I swear the men in this house have one thing in common. They never know when to shut up. I guess she's not as depressed as I thought she'd be. Should I be thanking you, Joshua? I didn't do much. I just gave her a push in the right direction. Estelle's a resilient girl to begin with. Yeah, she is. But she still has a long way to go. She'll run into more than just a few stumbling blocks in this line of work. And overcoming these obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own two feet. There is that soft side of yours talking again. Oh no! Are eggs supposed to explode like that? I guess I shouldn't have gone in expecting to make a perfect meal in a single try. No, wait. Cooking is supposed to be about passion. Exploding eggs are passionate, right? Now once more! That daughter of mine can sometimes be a little too passionate. I think I'll go help with dinner. We don't want the curtains to catch fire again. But at this rate, there's no telling when we can expect to have a bite of food ready on the dinner table. <laughs> Alright then. Let's see what this letter is all about, shall we? Cassius cuts the letter seal. Hmm. A message from the Erebonian Empire. What? Wow, this is a surprise. This new dish is what I call Estelle's Explosion over rice. Be sure to savor every last morsel. I will. Your cooking this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> this is raw talent at its best. Today certainly has been a busy but great day nonetheless. We qualified as junior bracers, had our first real assignment, and I didn't even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. Not to mention the food being delicious. For a first attempt, this dish is actually quite edible. At first I thought I might have to pitch it out the window when you weren't looking, but it seems that technique won't be necessary tonight. Sometimes you're just so despicably rude, Dad. 
Don't you know how to be humble and just say something tastes nice? Alright then, how about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before I had to leave on business. You made a splendid meal, Estelle. Thanks, Dad. Wait, business? Are you really leaving again? Yes, something unexpected came up. This time I'm going to be away for a while. Hold on a minute! You're leaving when? Tomorrow morning. What? I don't care what kind of job you're doing, that's just too soon! It's about that letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. Just a simple investigation. I'll have to visit a number of places, so it'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case, please take good care of the house while I'm away. What do you mean that being the case? You always use some vague excuse like that and take off for who knows how long. We have to accept it, Estelle. A bracer's job is to help those who come to us for help. I know, I know. But what are you going to do about all your branch jobs here at the Roland branch? You've already accepted a few of them, haven't you? Oh, only about five or six. So I was thinking, and... How about the both of you handle them for me instead? What? Are you really asking us to do the work that you're supposed to do? To be doing? That I am. I'll have you do the ones which I think you can accomplish. And I'll ask Sherazard to handle the difficult ones. So what do you say? Sure. Sure, of course we will! You're okay with doing these too, right Joshua? Yeah, no problem. Looks like a good way to experience, get some experience as a bracer. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let Ina know about the change of plan before I leave. Alright. I'm starting to feel more determined than ever. We'll have to bust our tails with these jobs so we don't tarnish your name while we're gone. Oh, Estelle. My beloved daughter. Papa is so proud. Oh, my dear Lena, who art in heaven. Can you see your daughter now? A little Estelle has grown up to be such a lovely young woman. Face it, Dad. You're getting old. If people lose their trust in you at this age, you might as well just throw in the towel forever. I'm only helping you out because I'm your daughter, and I have a duty to pay you back for the last 16 years. Uh, I'm only 45. And what's more, I'm very likely the most active member in the entire guild. Not bad for a pair of comedians. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? The one headed for Grand Cell or the one headed for Bose? I'll be on the one headed for Grand Cell. My flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little earlier tomorrow. I better set my alarm clock just in case. <laughs> Dad? Are you still awake, Joshua? You better hold off on the liquor, or Estelle will get mad again. This is just my way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a drink? I'll pass. Actually, what I should be saying is don't offer alcohol to minors. I'm not like Shara who would jump in any chance to enjoy a drink or ten. <laughs> That's because she holds her liquor much better than I do. There's something really serious happening, isn't there? There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement within the Empire. The Erebonian Empire? That sounds pretty suspicious. This movement doesn't seem to be overt, but that's what has me worried. 
I intend to do a little probing at the Erebonian Embassy to see what turns up. Understood. I'll make sure to look after Estelle while you're gone. Don't you spoil that girl. You hear me? Now that she's become a bracer, she needs to learn, learn to look after herself. Estelle will be fine. She's got good instincts. And despite being a bit rough around the edges, she has talent with the staff as well. There's no doubt in my mind that she'll be a first-class bracer someday. Yet at present, she's like a babe in arms who knows nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which path to follow in life. And Joshua, the same thing can be said for you too. It's already been five years since you became a part of this family, hasn't it? How time does fly. Yes, it sure does seem that way. About what you said back then. Are you sure you won't reconsider taking those words back? For me, keeping my word is what defines who I am. If I can't do something as simple as that, I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may sound stubborn, but I can't take back what I said. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. But I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you chose, choose in life, you can't erase these past five years. Estelle and I will always be your family. No matter what may befall you. Mm. Thanks, Dad. Prologue, a father's love, a new beginning. Yes, this is where the prologue technically starts. This game is long, people. Buckle up. Well, it looks like it's time for me to board my flight. Estelle, don't do anything I wouldn't do myself, and try not to be a handful for Joshua either. For the umpteenth time, I heard you already. How about you try not to go overboard yourself with your own work? You're not getting any younger, you know. Say what you will, but I'm not about to be overtaken by any youngsters. Sherzard? I'm really sorry about placing all this work on your shoulders at the last minute. Please, don't be. I am slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a decent job in your place. There's no need to be humble, Silverstreak. And I don't mean to make your life any more difficult, but please keep an eye on these two. You just leave that to me. Is tightening up the reins not spoiling these two fine with you? You definitely understand the way I think. What's this all about? <laughs> it looks to me like a mutual understanding between master and pupil. The Grand Cell-bound airliner, Lind, will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship now. Uh-oh. I better take my seat. Have a great trip, Dad. We'll take care of everything here while you're gone. Hurry back. When you're done with your work, make sure you come straight home. And no goofing off! Is that any way to see your beloved Papa off? Oh well. I'll try my best to come home as soon as I can. Alright, you two? Be good while I'm gone.
He's gone. Again. Yeah. Come on, you two. There's no need to look so down. Your father will be back in no time. I don't know what kind of investigation he's been asked to do this time, but when it comes to your father, he'll have it done before you know it. I'm not sad that he's gone. He's always been away more than he's been at home. All right, all right. If you say so. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on those jobs your father left for me. But if you run into any trouble, give me a holler. W will do. But first, I'd like to try and finish a few jobs with Joshua. I want to see what we're capable of doing as junior bracers. All right, if you insist. I imagine that with Joshua tagging along, there's probably not much to be worried about. Good luck, you two. Thanks. We'll do our best. So, what do you want to do now, Estelle? Shall we go stop by the guild? Yeah, we should probably talk to Ina and find out what jobs are waiting for us. Let's go! And we will do that on the next episode! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.